Uh, today's topic is about the air pollution. In this video, we will see the meaning of air pollution, what is air pollutant, the types of air pollutant, and what is gaseous pollutant, and what is particulate pollutant. So these all are the topic of today's video. But before we try to understand all of this, please subscribe to the channel and also like this video and also share the video with your friends. Now let's start the video. Now let's talk about the air pollution. What is air pollution? Air pollution means the process by which the air becomes polluted. It's a very simple definition. The process by which the air becomes polluted and this polluted air is called the air pollution. The air pollution refers to the release of pollutant into the air. The air pollution means that the air becomes polluted when its natural composition is disturbed either by natural or man-made sources. So sources can be anything, the natural source or the man-made source. When the natural composition of air is disturbed, this disturbed composition of air is the polluted air. It is the contamination of air by harmful gases, the dust and smoke which affect the plants, animals and humans drastically. It means the contaminated air, uh, the contamination of air by the harmful gases, it can be the harmful chemicals also, the dust and smoke which affect the plants, animals and humans and uh, harm to the uh, environment also. So this is called the air pollution. Air pollution refers to the physical, chemical or biological changes in the air. So the natural composition of air is very clean but the changes in the physical in the physical composition or the chemical composition of air or the biological change in the uh, composition of air so this is called the air pollution. So these all are the uh, short definition of air pollution. Now let's talk about the air pollutants. Air pollutants are substance in air that could at high concentration harm humans, animals, vegetation and property. There are two main types of air pollutant, primary and secondary. So there are two main types of air pollutant, we will talk about it later. But before, let's see the air pollutant. So air pollutants are the substance that could at high concentration, if the concentration is high, it can affect or harm the humans, the life of animals, the vegetation also, the crops and agriculture and the property. So these uh, substances are called the air pollutant which affect and harm all of these. So there are six major air pollutants that have been designed by US Environmental Protection Agency. In short, we call it as a EPA. So it has defined the six major air pollutants that is the carbon monoxide, the nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, ozone, particulate matter and lead. It means the PB. So these all are called as the criteria pollutant. Here you can see the carbon monoxide, the nitrogen dioxide, the particulate matter, the sulfur dioxide, lead and the ozone. So these all are called as the criteria pollutant. Now it's clear to you and let's talk about the types of air pollutant so there are two main types the primary pollutant and the secondary pollutant what is primary pollutant the primary pollutant responsible for air pollution are the ones that directly cause air pollution these include harmful gases such as sulfur dioxide and it can be the nitrogen dioxide which is generated by the factories so these directly affect and cause the air pollution but on the other hand, the secondary pollutants are formed by the process of intermixing of primary pollutants. So, smoke is a combination of fog and smoke, a secondary pollutant. So, secondary pollutant is what? The process by which the uh, pollutant that are intermixed with the primary pollutant and form the secondary pollutant that do not directly uh, affect the, uh, that do not directly cause the air pollution. For example, the smoke which is a combination of fog and smoke. Here you can see the primary pollutants example. Uh, if we have the CO2, SO2, NO2 or the CO. 
and in the secondary pollutant we have the h2so4 hno3 hso2 and h2o2 so these all are the example of secondary pollutant now let's talk about the gaseous pollutant what is gaseous pollutant the gaseous pollutant produced in atmosphere from fossil fuels combustion and in certain oil and gas activities remain in gaseous state in the atmosphere so these these are present in the atmosphere at the gaseous state and it is produced by the combustion of fossil fuel and oil and gases activity in a in the power plant or in, by the vehicles so these gaseous pollutant are present in the gaseous state in the atmosphere and the example of these gaseous pollutant are carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide these gases are emitted directly into the air from fossil fuels such as fuel oil gasoline natural gas and they are burned in power plant automobiles and other combustion sources so automobile or the power plant or uh, any other combustion sources in which the fossil fuels are burned up so this form the gaseous pollutant right the example of which is carbon monoxide the sulfur dioxide and nitro nitrogen dioxide and now let's talk about the particulate pollutants pollutants that remain suspended in the air and cause pollution are known as particulate pollutants it means that the uh, that the pollutant that remains suspended in the air and it can cause the air pollution and in the solid form uh, they are present in the atmosphere they remain in the solid or liquid form on the other hand the gaseous uh, pollutants are present in the uh, gaseous form right but the particulate pollutants are present in the solid or liquid uh, form in the atmosphere these are in form of large particles that settle down rapidly or remain suspended in the air so these are heavy particles the large particles that settle down or remain suspended in the air for example the dust the smoke the metal oxide fumes and aerosols or we can say the fly ash etc so these are are the example of particulate pollutants which are present in the uh, solid or the liquid form in the atmosphere i hope it's clear now let's talk about the carbon monoxide which is a major cause of air pollution carbon monoxide is an odorless invisible gas right it is odorless which have uh, which do not have any smell or it is a uh, invisible gas here you can see the major source of production of carbon monoxide or the co is incomplete burning of combustion of fossil fuel like coal and petroleum wood and charcoal and trash so the uh, incomplete burning of all of these produce the carbon monoxide for example the automobiles using diesel and petroleum are the major source of carbon monoxide right the carbon monoxide it is produced by the automobiles also in which the diesel and petroleum are used it constitute about 50% of total air pollutant it causes respiratory problems suffocation when inhaled also cause death so it's very obvious if you inhale the polluted air it can cause you the respiratory problem and the suffocation so these all are inhaled by the human and it cause the death for many people so it is very harmful to the environment also and it is the major cause of the air pollution this carbon monoxide now let's talk about the cfc gas or the chlorofluorocarbon these are colorless odorless and non flammable and non toxic chemicals so cfc is a colorless gas and odorless which do not have any smell and it is the non flammable and non toxic chemical it harmfully react in upper atmosphere which is harmful to environment so cfc is a gas which destroy the protective ozone layer and in return it cause the global warming so uh, the ozone layer is uh, of two types the bad ozone and the good ozone and cfc destroyed the good ozone the protective layer of ozone which protect us from the sun's uv rays since harmful uv rays the good ozone protected us but the cfc gas destroyed them right and it can cause the global warming 
so it is very harmful gas for the uh, environment and for the human life and the life on the earth so this is very harmful gas now let's talk about another gas the sulfur dioxide or the so2 so sulfur dioxide gas is produced by both the natural and the man-made sources and after the carbon monoxide so2 or the sulfur dioxide is the second most important contributor of uh, air pollutants so the uh, sulfur dioxide is the second most important contributor of air pollutant after the um, carbon monoxide which contributes about the 50 percent of the air pollutant the sulfur dioxide is required for the animals and the humans on also but in only in a trace amount but when the concentration of sulfur increases it becomes injurious to both the animal and the plants and environment the sulfur dioxide is also the cause for the acid rain and the damage uh, the agriculture crops or the vegetation it also damage the aquatic life the animal which are present in the water bodies it also degrade the soil and human bodies and properties so sulfur dioxide is essential for the uh, living for the uh, animals and the humans and plants also but in a very small amount but when the in, uh, concentration is high it is very harmful for our environment now we will talk about the oxides of nitrogen nitrogen oxides main sources are thermal power station factories automobiles and aircraft at high concentration cause disease in humans such as oxygen deficiency lungs cancer and pneumonia so the nitrogen oxide is very harmful for the human health also it can cause the oxygen deficiency the lung cancer and pneumonia and it is produced in the thermal power station or the factories and the automobiles also is a source for the uh, oxides of nitrogen it's it is generated by uh, all of these sources right so in this video we have covered all the gases which are responsible for the air pollution and we have talked about the types of air pollutant which are responsible for the air pollution and in our next video we will talk about the causes effects and we will also see the solution for the air pollution if you like the video please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel now let's meet in the another video